What's up YouTube, it's the Equipment Junkie back with another video and today we're going to be doing our six month review of the Lab Golf B.2 putter. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I've had this Lab Golf B.2 putter for about six months now. Um, and I feel like I've given it adequate time um, to be able to deliver you guys uh, hopefully a pretty good and in-depth review of what I think of this putter and um, who I think it could be beneficial for. So first of all, this is a $400 putter. Um, what do you get for $400? Well, you actually get a lot more than you might think um, than what you're just looking at. So first of all, you get to choose between a stainless steel head, which is what I went with, and a brass head. You get to choose between 25 different alignment aid options. I went with just a single standard line. And then you get to choose between three different face options. You get the, you can go with a normal stainless steel no face. Uh, you can go with the lab golf icons that kind of look like this on the face, or you could have little grooves put on the face as well. You also get your choice of shaft. So I went with the brush black shaft, you can go with brushed satin, um, you can go with the LAGP graphite shafts, you can go with the stability shaft. Those are upcharges, um, but it's kind of nice that you don't just get a standard chrome shaft, even if you go with the no upcharge option, you actually get something that's brushed and looks kind of nice. And then for the grip, this is obviously not a stock grip, this is something I put on, but you could go with a Garson putter grip or you can go with the Lab Golf press grips. So, um, you do get a lot of options, and then additionally, as you can see, there's screws here. This is part of the technology that Lab Golf is has in all their putters, so uh, that's something you're also getting for $400. In addition, you also get a remote fitting. Um, so if you're not near any of their fitting dealers, which I wasn't, um, then I actually just went with the remote fitting, and that's included in the cost of the putter, which is pretty nice. Um, so you get a lot for $400. You know, you have to understand that TaylorMade Spider itself is. $350 and all you get to choose from is three different color options. So there's actually a lot that goes into this and it's actually, I believe it's well worth the price. The thing I want to talk about is the design. So with Lab Golf's original putter, it kind of looks like a spaceship and it's kind of crazy looking, but this does not look anything too crazy. And there's a lot of technology in there. Um, no torque, torque free is kind of the slogan, kind of the whole premise behind Lab Golf. Um, and the idea is that the putter face will stay square to the arc of the putting stroke. Uh, and it's a really good concept, but for people who don't like, you know, crazy looking putters with, you know, crazy technology, it's really nice that they put this in a blade putter package, and I think they did a really good job. Um, and it, it's been proven that the technology works. So that's what's really interesting, is you hear a lot of days about crazy things, you know, whether it be from TaylorMade or Cal or any mainstream company, about how their putters are better, their woods are better. But when you look at videos with the Lab Golf putters in their revealer, um, which is basically a freestanding swinging putter mechanism, uh, it shows that their putter actually does stay square to whatever arc it's swung on, whereas other putters tend to twist and turn, and they don't really want to stay square. The face doesn't really want to stay square. So another thing, so aside from looks, uh, feel, this putter does not feel crazy. Um, it just feels like a normal stainless steel putter. There's no dinging or there's no crazy sound. Um, it feels pretty normal. It feels just like a normal stainless steel putter. One thing I'll say is it's kind of heavy. Um, it says it was only like 330 grams on the website, but it, it feels heavy. Um, and I'm not sure why. I didn't ask that ball why I felt that way. I'm sure there's a reason behind it, but um, it does feel, it does feel heavy. It does feel kind of hefty. So the technology in these putters, it's actually, shown and it's actually proven and it actually works so you're getting a lot uh you're not getting some bs thing you know you're not getting some crazy contraption that you might have heard about on the golf channel you're actually getting something that's proven to work and um, works really well for the right person and let me tell you what i mean by that i think this putter is going to be really good for people who just stroke the putter who don't try to manipulate the face who just make back and through strokes and let the putter do the work. It's not meant to be manipulated. It's not meant to, you know, change course. It's basically just meant to be swung on an arc, whatever the arc is. It doesn't matter if it's way inside or if it's way outside. It's just meant to be swung back and through and the putter and all the technology, the torque free is supposed to take care of everything else. 
And if you're somebody who tends to manipulate the face, this putter, it's, it wants to stay square to the arc, but if it doesn't know where it's supposed to be, I don't think it's gonna work as well for you. As you can tell, I switched to a two thumb grip on this putter. Um, I usually just use a normal like Ionic grip on my other putters. I went to two thumb on this because I noticed when I started putting to my best, my thumbs were just on here and I was just stroking it back and through, back and through. That allows the putter face to stay square to the arc you're swinging it on without you trying to manipulate it. So, in my opinion, if you're somebody who just strokes the putter and kind of lets the putter do the work, there is not a better putter on the market. This is an 11 out of 10. Um, it's unbelievably good. It's gonna be, uh, could be life-changing for you because it just wants to stay square. It wants to roll the ball online. That being said, if you're somebody who tends to have a lot of face manipulation and really tries to hold the face off or close it or has a big arc and you know they're always trying to get the ball to roll online, I think this putter could be good, but I don't think it's gonna be as beneficial. I'm somebody who tends to have a little bit more face manipulation and that's where I tended to struggle with this putter. It wasn't like, it's not like the putter was bad, um, but I didn't like, the improvements weren't significant compared to what I normally came. So for me, that's why I threw the, the two thumb on there and I started to stroke it, you know, normally and just kind of back and through and putt started, more putts started to go in the hole. Um, my speed got better and whatnot. The only thing is that I struggled with is I couldn't trust myself under pressure. Um, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a bad putter by any means. I'm not a great putter, I'm not a bad putter, but under pressure, I trust myself a lot. And so, you know, my, whatever way I tend to manipulate the face is kind of how I trust myself under pressure. Um, and with this, you know, when I'm just stroking it back and through, although I know the putter is gonna stay square, it's still kind of a mental block that I have. I just don't, I don't like not having control over the putter um, in those situations. So that being said, I'm not gaming this putter right now uh, because I am somebody who tends to have that little bit of face manipulation. And I don't think this putter works as well for me. But if you're somebody who just is really good at stroking it back and through, um, I cannot even begin to tell you how good this putter is for you. I mean, it will be, it will be life changing. It will be fantastic. Um, it will be really good. So that being said, I think Lab Golf has a great product on their hands. I think they always have. I mean, they, their products, there's a lot of technology, there's a lot of thought and ideas behind their products. And that's why they're a really good company. Um, but I think especially with something like this, it's a really good product and it's gonna work for a lot of people, but especially those people that I was just talking about. Um, that being said, huge fan of this putter. I think Lab Golf is a really good company. I think they got really good people, um, really good customer service. And if you do buy a Lab Golf putter, they will take care of you. They will make sure that everything is set up well and set up perfectly. And that's why I'm a huge fan of them. Um, I wanna thank them for sending me this putter that I was able to use for this review. Um, I really appreciate it, and um, I'm really excited to continue to deliver you guys reviews in 2020 and uh, keep moving forward. I know it's been a crazy year with all the, the coronavirus stuff. Um, it's been a busy year for us with other stuff that isn't related to golf equipment as well as dealing with the whole virus. So uh, appreciate you guys kind of being patient with us as we put together this review and other stuff on our page. Um, but we're really excited with where we're going and where we're headed and just thank you guys for the support really appreciate it so if you like this video please like comment and subscribe follow us on our other social media channels and uh, we'll see you in the next video thanks